G'day, welcome back to the channel. Some interesting records fell this month. Electric powered records. First one was the Rolls Royce Spirit of Innovation. Electric powered aircraft. They claim it is now the world's fastest electric aircraft. And they set this record recently. It's a pretty stunning looking aircraft. Look at this damn thing. Um, let's see if I can look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Look, that's a gorgeous looking piece of aeroplane. Very, very aerodynamic, very streamlined, very low drag. Um, I think we can see that if I go back over here, there's some more footage. Look at look how beautiful that is. Doesn't that remind you of a hobby king aircraft that was on sale, model aircraft some time ago? I forget what it was called, but it looked very similar to that. But obviously, this is designed for one thing and one thing only, and that is to go as fast as it can. And it's obviously succeeded. Set a new world record. Look how fast that is. That's beautiful. Now, this video, which I link to in the description of my video, um, is a bit, a bit disappointing because at no stage do we hear what this aircraft actually sounds like. It's all orchestral music over the top and all these wonderful cinematic shots designed to make it look fantastic. A little bit of background, some some interviews and so forth. But I don't get the feeling of, you know, of actually being there, which is unfortunate. Now, we know that previously there were some very fast aircraft in the UK. The uh, Spitfire, the Mark 24 Spitfire had a top speed of 735 kilometers an hour from memory. That was powered by a large V12 engine, which just absolutely sang. Those engines, the, the, the sound, the chorus that comes from 12 cylinders of engine on an aircraft like that is just so gorgeous. If you've never heard it in real life, you are missing something very seriously, a, a visceral experience that, that you can only experience experience in person on the spot. So if you ever get an opportunity to listen to one of these big V12 engines screaming away in an aircraft, take it, take it, absolutely take it. Now the electric version, I don't think it's going to, might sound like a Dyson on steroids, that may be more like it, but uh, we missed that. We missed that in this video and I think Rolls Royce, it's a shame, you should have included some of that. Now what record did it set? How fast did this thing go given that it looks, you know, it looks like the sex on a stick? Well, it went, well, let me look at my notes, 623 kilometers an hour. And that's, when you think about it, it's actually not that damn fast. The Spitfire, which was made many, many years ago, could fly faster than this. But of course, this is electric power. And I find it kind of strange because in the model world, electric power has been faster than internal combustion for quite some time now. Uh, uh, so it's taking a while for manned aviation to catch up. Once again, once again, modelers lead the way. We've been using electric power almost exclusively for our models now for, for many years. If you go to the average club flying field, it's virtually all electric. You don't see many internal combustion engines at all, if ever, at the average model club flying field these days. So for aviation to catch up is taking an awfully long time, as was the case with multi-rotor drones. We are leading the technology, and that's a very important thing. But okay, what was the other record that was set this month? Well, no surprise there. It was a record involving model aircraft. Rupert White, and this is a channel, I'm a Gully Bird, and I have spoken of this channel in the past on my channel here and recommended you subscribe. He's only got 2.5 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, what is wrong with you? Because you would have missed this unless I picked it up and made today's video. Because he has broken the speed record for FPV using an electric powered model. He achieved 509 kilometers an hour. That's 316 miles an hour in old money if you happen to live in a second or third world country. Um, amazing. It's absolutely gobsmackingly amazing. And I, I'm not going to, I'll link to his video as well, but just to give you an idea of what that actually involves, look at this. He's used analog. Look at the, imagine this, you're doing 250 kilometers now, and that's the picture you've got. Whoa. <laughs> this man has large cojones, you might say. And he's been doing this for a while. He's been, been chipping away at this record and he's just set a new one. I think it was just this week. So this is fantastic. Go and watch the video. It is a fantastic video. You'll learn all about it because it hasn't been without its without its failures. I mean, uh, the last attempt I think he made at this, he had some issues. This is the motor. And look at that. What happened was I think the, the prop lost a blade. And because it's spinning so fast, just the, the imbalance was enough to bend the shaft like that. The hardened steel shaft is bent like that. Um, so there are a lot of challenges in getting an electric model flying this fast, but he's done it. And it's it's only a little, little more than 100 kilometers an hour less than Rolls-Royce. Now, how much do you think um, it cost Rupert to make this model? There's the model. And I say, go and watch the video. There's the model. When you consider how much did this cost versus that? And the speed difference is a little over 100 kilometers an hour. <laughs> it shows you how far ahead we are in this hobby. And that's one of the worrying things, isn't it? 
with countries increasingly regulating the hobby almost out of existence and putting age restrictions, as is the case in Australia, um, where is the new talent going to come from? You can, you can almost guarantee that a lot of the people involved in this project flew model aircraft as kids, may even fly them still today. So without young kids coming through with a passion for aviation, which is created by involvement in the hobby, what's going to happen? Already we're seeing the pace of manned aviation slowing compared to the pace of the hobby. So if we take the hobby out of the equation, it doesn't look good for the future of manned aviation. And I think regulators and politicians need to wake up to this. Or in as little as five or ten years time, they're going to find there's no new talent coming through to replace the engineers and the d d designers and everything who are aging out of the industry. It's, it's a big risk, a huge risk. And I think it's been grossly underestimated by those who are trying to regulate the hobby almost out of existence. But there you go. That's my little news segment, my little rant for today, as I say. Links to all the relevant and interesting stuff down there in the description. But go and have a look and leave your comments. Am I wrong? Am I right? Have you had a look at these videos? What do you think? Should they have left the sound in on this Rolls Royce video? And do you want to give Rupert a big thumbs up? Because he deserves it. Go watch his video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on his video and on mine. And if you're watching Roops, congratulations, mate. Fantastic effort. Hope to see you out here in New Zealand sometime soon to show the local jet flies how it's done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.